Re-elect Leah Patterson Lust, probate judge. The probate judge has hearings to determine guardianship and conservatorship, adoptions, psychiatric commitments, and to settle all estates. 480 adoption hearings. I have held almost 2,500 hearings for probate cases. Visit Glover's Plants and Produce as they celebrate autumn. Come see an autumn colorscape of beauty. Our prices are so low it's scary. When you shop at Glover's, you'll see many of your friends saving money too. Eat healthy with fresh fruits and vegetables for your family. While you pay less and get more. Shop Glover's Autumn Selection of beautiful mums and other fall flowers. At Glover's Plants and Produce, hurry in now. We're at West Point with the head coach of the Warriors, A.J. Lamar. This week, home game, final in the region, and it's yep. East Limestone, a team that gave Coleman a scare early in the season. Let's talk about this ball club out of Cap Shell. Um, I mean, they do a good job. Uh, coach Pio over there has got some, uh, some uh, great athletes. Uh, they're big up front. Their offensive line average is about 270, and, uh, you know, they got three backs that uh, run the ball very hard. Uh, you know, and um, they're three and uh, they're three and five right now in the season. But uh, you know, they play hard. They're tough, and uh, you know, it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a we're going to have to play a great football game. What are the things you're working on as far as to try to get better, especially knowing that you have a chance to beat this ball club? Uh, well, we just you know we've got to execute our own self. We can't uh, we can't shoot ourselves in the foot. Uh, you know, we got to try to uh, pick up some more, more first downs and uh, do things against most shows. Um, you know, we got to uh, had chances to uh, execute on plays. We'll get a holding call here, a holding call there, and uh, you know, we've got to we just got to stick to the fundamentals and the basics, and uh, you know, and, tr and try to pick up first downs and uh, you know keep the ball moving. And uh, you know, they run a um, their offense. They run a double tight, double wing, um, no wide outs ever, and so uh, you know, it's like a big like a big rugby match and uh so uh, but um it's good you know it's gonna be a great game um senior night um uh, you know sad for my seniors man i've been with these guys for four years and uh thank the world of these guys and uh appreciate everything they've done in the four years they've been here and uh it's just been a great group to be with uh on and off the field and uh, really gonna miss them the word desire how much does that factor into this week it does. I mean, uh, you know, it's the last two games. It's your last home game. Uh, I think the guys are going to be motivated to play and uh, senior night, and uh, these younger guys are going to do what they can to get these uh, seniors to win on their last home game. And, uh, you know, you got to have desire, uh, you know, every day, every day you step out. And, uh, you know, and uh, I think our guys, we've had a good practice Monday and Tuesday, and uh, they're going to be, uh, I believe they're going to be ready to play. We certainly wish you the very best, and your last game in front of the home crowd is Friday. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. A.J. Lamar to West Point Warriors. Friday night, they host the East Limestone Indians. The first time in several seasons that the two have met is a 5A Region 8 contest from West Point Stadium. Kicks off at 7 p.m. We'll continue with more of Inside Coleman County football right after this here on Channel 2 Sports. In the nation, we can't make every annoying thing disappear. But we can eliminate deductibles. Nationwide insurance members who add vanishing deductible get $100 off for every year of safe driving. Join the nation where deductibles go. Nationwide is on your side. Odin's Auto Glass is your professional glass replacement center. They replace auto and truck windows, windshields, and mirrors using plexiglass or window glass. Odin's Auto Glass has a roomy service bay for regular vehicles and a large service shop for larger vehicles like trucks, buses, RVs, and industrial equipment. They also do furniture mirror glass replacement. All work is professional in every detail. Odin's Auto Glass, Highway 31 North of Colvin.
Today's obituary report is brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Funeral services for Catherine Ann Johnston, age 55, of Cullman, will be today at 2 p.m. at Cullman Funeral Home Chapel. And that's a look at our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Welcome to Today on Two. It is Friday, the 26th day of October. Everybody's making plans for football this weekend. Yes. Halloween's next week. That's right. Paige has already been working on Halloween. Yes. <laughs> well, let's start with the weather forecast for today. Our weather brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet of Cherokee Avenue. Make the switch to Mitch. Here's the almanac for the 26th of October. The average high temperature is 73. The average low is 42. <clears throat> the record high, 84 degrees in 1940. The record low got down to 24 in 1982. Sunrise this morning will be, <clears throat> excuse me, a little over a half an hour, two minutes after seven. Sunset at 6 a.m. <clears throat> we assume that you know that means p.m. There's the satellite picture you will notice off the coast of Florida, Hurricane Sandy. And they don't know where Sandy is going to go for sure. They say Sandy could go all the way up the east coast. There you can see the satellite picture over our part of the country. And here's our forecast for today. Partly sunny, 30% chance of rain and maybe some thunderstorms today with a high near 79. For tonight, cloudy, 30% chance of rain, low of 48, but boy, look at the rest. Tomorrow, high 57. Oof. Sunday, high 54. Monday, 53, remaining in the 50s through next week with low temperatures in the 30s. Wow. I think wow. it will remain above freezing. Let's but still, hope so. we are looking at high temperatures at about what they've been low temperatures yes. for the last few days. So anyway, after today, a noticeable change in the weather. I don't know if this is because of the hurricane or there's a big cold front coming right. through the country. But anyway, big, big change in the weather after today. And let's see, the weather for tonight. I don't know if the rain will affect football tonight. I wanted to talk about the fact a big, big football game, Coleman and Muscle Shoals. Yes. Muscle Shoals is ranked number one in the state. Ooh, Coleman's going to have a tough night. Uh, it's going to be tough. Coleman has one loss, right? One loss this year. That was to Hartzell when Hartzell was ranked number one. And I think that was just a one or a two-point game. So this will be a very, very big game tonight. Muscle Shoals and Coleman. I want to mention a little bit about Facebook. You've been on Facebook for quite a while, oh, haven't yeah. you? Of course, we have a Facebook page here at Channel 2. Well, for those of you who are interested, I went to a wedding last weekend, and uh, someone took a picture of me and my siblings and posted it on Facebook. So if you want to see what <laughs> my brother and my sisters look like as we were dressed up for the wedding last week, you can go to 
Channel 2 Coleman to Facebook, and that picture was posted yesterday. Uh, I think it was my youngest sister put it on there. And it's interesting that we've got relatives I haven't heard from in years and years and years commented about seeing the picture. I'm surprised they even recognized us. But anyway, if you want to see what my family looks like, it's on Facebook. There are no secrets anymore with Facebook. No secrets. None at all. Okay. Let's look at our Facebook friend of the day for today. Yes, our Facebook friend of the day today is Miss Donna Scheichel, and she likes Keith Urban and Miranda Lambert, so country music is her thing. If you'd like to be our Facebook friend of the day, you can friend us on Facebook, Channel 2 Coleman. And let's see, tomorrow is another football Saturday, and if you want to watch football, Auburn plays, um, let's see, Texas A&M plays at Auburn. And that will be a 6 o'clock kickoff. That will be on ESPNU, which is channel 302, 302 on Charter Cable. And, of course, Mississippi State will be at Alabama, kicking off at 730. This is on ESPN, and that is the regular channel 29, high definition channel 808. So you can watch Auburn at 6 and Alabama at 730 tomorrow night. Will you be watching either one of those games? No, I will be at work. Oh. Well, I guess I could. I guess oh. I get off at 5 tomorrow. Well, you got a so. television set there. Yeah, that's true. Okay. This is Friday. That's politics on Today on 2. Let me tell you a little bit about uh, our intent for the program today was to have a political forum with the two candidates running for Coleman County Probate Judge. Uh, Judge Lust accepted our invitation to be on the program today. Her opponent declined to appear on the program today. So Judge Lust will be with the political panel, and we'll turn things over to them right after this. The Red Bank is asking for your vote. We want to be your bank. Our platform is simple service that no other bank can offer. We're locally owned and operated and that means we make decisions right here. So vote today for Mom, Apple Pie and Premier Bank. I'm Jay Mullins and I approve this message. Children are the future of Coleman County. As a parent and grandparent, I understand the importance of their protection. As your probate judge, I will hear all cases involving our children with a caring heart for them to achieve the success they deserve. Adoptions and conservatorships require a detailed knowledge of the law and a heart for children. Tammy Brown has both. That's why we're asking you. No matter the case, vote for Tammy Brown! If you're looking for the ride of your life, you'll find it at Billy Ray Taylor Auto Sales in Coleman. I'm talking about sharp cars and trucks that'll get you noticed and deals too low to believe. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it and find it for less at Billy Ray Taylor Auto Sales. Come on, North Alabama. It's time you had a sharp set of wheels and a really good deal. Billy Ray Taylor Auto Sales, serving you from two big lots, Highway 31 North and 31 South in Coleman, Alabama. The Coleman County Republican Party urges you to vote Republican from the White House to the Courthouse, November 6th. The Republican candidates include Mitt Romney for President, Roy Moore for Chief Justice of the Alabama Supreme Court, Twinkle Kavanaugh for President of the Alabama Public Service Commission, Lisa Maxwain for Coleman County Circuit Clerk, and Tammy Brown for Coleman County Probate Judge. Remember, vote Republican November 6th. This ad paid for by the Coleman County Republican Party. And welcome to That's Politics on a Friday. We have our usual lineup. Mr. Tom Drake, former representative, along with the former probate judge uh, Tom Burleson, myself. And we welcome this morning Judge Leah Patterson Lust, our probate judge for Coleman County. Good morning to you. Good morning, George. It's great to be here. Thank you. you coming to see us. Yes. Boy, how this is uh, one of those elections. Usually we see more action when it comes to, you know, people running for office, but it, we just have a couple things locally here, uh, uh, positions that are up for re-election, uh, probate judge, one of them. Yes, sir. And uh, I can't think of, I always thought, I always thought that commissioner's race was the most volatile, but it appears like the, the probate judge's race has become that way. 
It, it does seem <laughs> as though we, uh, the probate judge's race has drawn a little more attention than, than uh, certainly I would like for it to, yeah. like for things to be just kind of smooth and quiet, but with politics, you, you never know. <laughs> well, I was real fortunate. I never had nothing like you. I never had no controversies at all. I run against some good people. It was, but I guess in a way, wasn't it, Tom, a different era? Because you oh, had yeah. very few oh, yeah. Republicans, Probably was. you know? Yeah, that's a different era. Uh, and it was, and politics itself wasn't as uh, flammable. <coughs> it was mainly a Democrat back then, mostly, you know. Yeah, yeah. And now it's reversed. It, it's reversed. It's reversed, yeah. reversed over. Tom Drake never had any controversy, did you, Tom? No, not, a, not a bit. Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have it. Paving I had a lot of it. Paving them uh, roads uh, to the pig pen, pen and, all uh, the pig pen and, <laughs> and all kinds of stuff. God, uh, he hired everybody in this county. <laughs> well, you know, George, the, the thing about it is I think a lot of folks in Coleman don't realize how fortunate we, we have been to have such um, honorable elected officials in our community. Um, Mr. Drake was Speaker of the House in Montgomery for, for a long time and, and represented Coleman County so well and was, was such an example that all of, of those of us in office now can follow. And then Probate Judge Tom Burleson, from his days early on as a uh, school principal, he, was, he had a wonderful uh, a legacy and, and made a great impression on, on the students and teachers that, that he uh, served as, as principal for and then went on and became probate judge and to this day still in the probate judges association when I go to meetings uh, some of the other probate judges some of the older folks will say now now you're from that county that Judge Burleson <laughs> served and, and that's you know when when you have someone that prestigious before you and someone that has that kind of reputation it's it's a, a, such a good example to follow. Yeah, I, I was real fortunate in my life to have good jobs I got a real good job when we was at all the schools, Baddington, West Point, Weldy. And then I got elected probate judge, which is an excellent job, yes. really. If you, and I really loved it. And uh, it serving the people. It is uh, it's a difficult thing nowadays, any political office. I mean, there's many of them are volatile. Uh, this particular campaign... Leah, uh, I mean, last time around, folks voted, many of them in Coleman County, straight Republican, you know? Yes, and, in 2010. Uh, right. And that seems like it could very well happen this time. So you're having to get out and go farther than what maybe you normally would, I guess, to make your name known and uh, your accomplishments and all. Yes, sir. The, uh, the, part, of the part of the issue is I believe that as a, as a state, for, for many, many years, People looked at the national level in one way, but they looked at the, the local folks in a different different sort of manner. We had national politics for many, many years the state of Alabama, well, since the Civil Rights Movement. The state of Alabama has pretty much been a red state, but locally there were more local elected officials that were, were Democrats. Um, I have to work very hard to make sure when I'm campaigning to encourage people to vote for the person and not the party, to look at my accomplishments, the, the things that uh, I've been fortunate and been able to do, such as reducing spending in the probate office, cutting the budget. Uh, I'm, I'm working with fewer employees now than were employed in the probate judge's office even in the 1980s. Done that through uh, advances in technology, got everyone cross-trained. I'm providing more services out into the community. We have got three annexes now. When I first came into office, we had two. So I have expanded services all the time while cutting cost because that was what was required. You Now, as elected officials, we have to do more with less. Leah, how many employees do you got? Uh, we have a total, including myself, 13. And that's three annexes the primary office there in the courthouse, and um, that's and the judge. That's all of us. Thirteen, unlucky number thirteen. Uh, but that I, that I helps me. You had a lot more than that. <laughs> that that helps me. It always helps me to remember because it's unlucky thirteen. But in my situation, it's lucky. 
because I've got a great crew. I've got the best staff in the courthouse, and we all work together to complete what needs to be done. Did the computer, uh, has that helped you a lot? Yes, sir, it has. It sure has. Uh, Coleman County Probate Office, we don't just function from when the doors open at 8 a.m. to when the doors close at 4.30. Uh, under my administration, we've become a 24-hour office. I have a fax machine at home. I'm in constant contact with the police department, the sheriff's department, the hospital, CRMC. We uh, also have Sanctuary at the Woodlands, which is a psychiatric inpatient facility for geriatric and they were just approved for 20 inpatient beds for adults. So uh, Frank Brown under his direction, under his wonderful direction, has provided a wonderful service for our community. We now have adult psychiatric beds as well as the geriatric beds and of course all the nursing homes. I'm available to give orders on psychiatric commitments, transport orders, hold orders, around the clock, 24 hours a day. I have my cell phone with me all the time and of course the home phone there. And it, it has been such a blessing to be available 24 hours a day, nights, holidays, weekends. We were in, uh, my, my husband's family lives just outside of Chicago and we were at Thanksgiving this past year and the cell phone rang and it was, it was our local hospital needing a hold order for someone. So. Um, the office has gone from being 8 to 4.30 to being a 24-hour-a-day office. Have, have those calls increased yes, since you've been in office? Yes, dramatically. So does that mean basically that uh, the number of commitment hearings has increased? Yes, it has. And the number of state inpatient funded beds has, has decreased. So we have, uh, we've, we've had to look, you know, they've closed two of our state facilities. Searcy and Grill, which were both hospitals in South Alabama, have been closed completely. Uh, they're trying to expand community services, but financial constraints, of course, have an effect on that. Judge Burleson can attest all the way back to his administration, even early administration. Um, it, is, it is an incredible responsibility that the state bears taking care of our most vulnerable citizens, the mentally ill. Leo, are they going to do away with North Alabama Regional? Well, Judge Burleson, that has been something that has gone back and forth. Initially, they <coughs> were going to close North Alabama Regional. I Ridge. think that would be, be a bad thing to be, do that. For you know, Judge Burleson, the, the, the things that you dealt with in your administration, even, even back then, North Alabama Regional stays full. Oh, yeah. And so they reconsidered their plan on clo closing North Alabama Regional. And, and currently we're looking at it being more of a transition facility. Um, some of the more severe cases are planned to go to North Alabama Regional. The longer, longer term treatment, they're, they're looking at restructuring the uh, patient mix. And currently, Judge, the, um, the plan is for folks from Coleman County beginning sometime next year, plans for Coleman County folks that are in need of inpatient treatment to go to Bryce when the new Bryce facility opens. You know, I don't care what, uh, how they politically, how they move, but they have got to take care of mentally ill people because, yes. it, because <laughs> there's a danger involved in it. Yes. It's yeah. anarchy. That's I mean, right. If you've got a, a member of the family who is mentally ill and they get off their medicine or for whatever reason, they uh, start deteriorating, decompensating, is that the term? Yes, yes. You got, that's the, the clinical term. When they start getting worse is the term I use. But it is anarchy. Yes. You know, in my family, I came home one weekend to visit years ago, and a family member was throwing ja canning jars just up against the basement wall, just making all kinds of noise. And I couldn't see how my parents could stand mm -hmm. that. And that led to the first commitment hearing for the individual. And it was just terrible. But again, you've only got so much money yes. to spend. Yes, sir. Now, Judge Burleson, back in your administration in 1995, I think you will agree that, that opening the Mary Harper Center, which is the facility that the state developed in Tuscaloosa, it was on, it's on the Bryce campus, specifically for geriatric patients. You know, anyone 60 or older was sent to the Mary Harper Center and continues to be. Now, that facility and that piece will remain in place. That's a special population. 
it's it's safer to have geriatric patients together. Sometimes, as George, as you just explained, especially strong, middle-aged adult patients can become physically aggressive. And so, you know, we, we separate out those geriatric patients now to the Mary Harper. And that place, that facility will remain as it is. But, you know, they're building the new Bryce facility. They are in Tuscaloosa. It's staying in Tuscaloosa. But, you know, the University of Alabama bought the Bryce campus. So that is, that is a, a, what we hope is going to be a positive thing. Mm -hmm getting the new Bryce Hospital, and the sad thing is they're not increasing the beds. The number of counties that are going to be admitting patients to Bryce, but they didn't increase the number of beds. You know, it's a sad, sad situation, but when I first went into office, they was putting them in jail. That's right. And the federal courts, the federal, federal uh, courts ruled that uh, they could no longer do that. And that's when they, we had to start taking them like North Alabama raising them in different hospitals, you know. But that'd be a sad situation if it reverts back to something like that. Oh, yes. What's, what is the normal age or common age for people who have to be committed? What age group? Um, okay, Alabama law, and this is the same as it was when, when Judge Burleson was in office. Alabama law requires you to be 19 years or older mm -hmm. for... Uh, adult psychiatric commitment. If you are under the age of 19, if you are 18 years old, just turned 18, and even 18 years and six months, you still go through the uh, district court. It's considered a family court issue, and, and the commitment process for an adolescent is very, very different. So 19, from 19 to death, is falls so, under the jurisdiction of probate court. But the typical patient is going to be somewhere in maybe 30s? Yes, generally 30s. Um, as we're seeing our adult population in common age, um, the early onset of Alzheimer's also causes great concern. You know, you, you see folks, I've got one individual, of course for confidentiality purposes, right. I, I would never identify too much, but uh, that individual is 46 years old and has had early onset of Alzheimer's. And as we know, with early onset Alzheimer's, it progresses quickly. Right. And uh, well, let's take, it's can we need to take a quick break. Let's come back and talk about this. We'll be right back after these words. At Premier Bank, we're a bit old fashioned. We actually answer the telephone when you call. However, old fashioned doesn't mean we aren't up to date. With the latest technology, Premier Bank meets the various needs of our customers. Mobile smartphone banking, internet banking, ATMs, convenient offices. At Premier Bank, we have the right products right now with good old-fashioned customer service. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Meet the KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. It might just change the way you cook. Induction technology heats the pan and not the cooking surface to offer you a new level of precision, speed, and energy efficiency. Nine settings give you different levels of heat to achieve precise temperatures and amazing responsiveness. Water boils in just seconds, making this the fastest to boil induction cooktop available. The KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. I take my responsibilities very, very seriously. And I humbly ask the voters of Coleman County to please look at, at my record. Look at the things that I've accomplished during this term in office. And to please consider voting for me as I seek re-election in November of 2012. 
Thank you so much for your consideration. Our guest on That's Politics today is Leah Patterson Lust, probate judge for Coleman County. You, we were talking about Alzheimer's and about dementia. At what point, do, I mean, when start, someone starts developing dementia or Alzheimer's, and I don't really know the difference between the two myself, uh, to be honest with you, but they start acting erratically. Yes. And so it becomes a mental issue. Yes. Is that something that you would automatically become involved in then as a probate judge? Well, at, at the point where, where the individual becomes a danger to himself or others right. and no other treatment option is available, then yes, they will come through probate court. Um, I know that Mr. Speaker and, and, and Judge Burleson, um, both in his personal life and his professional life history anyway, um, they've both encountered folks that were, were in need of assistance in that special type manner. But one thing we're seeing, you can't be admitted to the Mary Harper Center until you're 60. So sometimes, you know, we've got folks with dementia that are maybe a little more physically incapacitated, but they're still mixed in with the adult population, which sometimes causes some concern for me and, and, and others involved with the case. But um, it, it has been uh, a particular challenge as the state beds decrease Sometimes it takes longer for us to get them admitted. Even after a commitment hearing, it takes longer for us to... I've, I've got one case right now that has remained in a community-based psychiatric hospital for 10 days while we wait on a bed at the Mary Harper Center. We're fortunate to have the sanctuary at the Woodlands local. You know, prior to them, everyone that, that I was having to admit in 2007-2008 uh, we're going to uh, hospitals in Birmingham, or we there's a Jerry Psych unit in uh, Walker County, Walker Baptist Hospital. Leo, well, that drive you up a wall. Those type of cases, because yes. a lot of times you know you you want to do something, you would love to do something, but you can't. You hadn't got the facilities and stuff like that, and it's terrible on the on the person serving this probe judge. Uh, yes, Judge Burleson. I've reviewed back some of those cases. You know, we keep those case files for a long, long time. And, and I reviewed back and just looked at the year and knowing the number of beds that were available in the state at that time, goodness, I, I don't know how you accomplished as much as you did and, and, and kept the community safe because, as you said, there was sometimes that there was nothing available but jail. No, kidding. That had to and be that, difficult. It, I know. That yes. Happened. I know that had to weigh on you heavily. Oh, it weigh. You know, you, you sit there, you don't know if somebody's going to kill somebody or not. You yes. Know. Let me ask you this. What's the youngest age you've seen of someone having Alzheimer's or dementia? The, the, the one I mentioned previously, the, the person that was 46. 46. 46, yeah. Yes, sir. And that's, is that something you inherit? It can be. It can be. You know, Alzheimer's... Truly, the Alzheimer's diagnosis, of course, with MRI technology and everything, the diagnostic tools that we have now are much, much better than they were in the past. But um, autopsy, actually seeing the neurofibril tangles and the, the decompensation of the Does the brain, brain. shrink? Yeah, and, and the actual brain matter deteriorates. L let me ask you this uh, question. I've been hearing lately quite a bit of talk about that they're real close to having something that's going to help those people and maybe slow the process down or yes. cure it. Yes, there are some, uh, there are some medications, Aricept being one and the, the other one, I'm sorry, it's just on the tip of my tongue, but Aricept is one medication that if they start taking it soon enough, it, it can slow the progress, but we are making the great strides, the medical community is making great strides in Alzheimer's research. How did uh, your job working with CRMC, let's see, you handle issues like this when you work for the hospital, right? Yes. How does that dovetail into the job as a probate judge? It has been so beneficial. Not only having, already having contacts and, and <coughs> prior relationship with the physicians and the nursing staff, that, that in itself has been beneficial, but just 
my very first job out of college. I graduated from the University of Alabama with my master's in 1995. And for two years, I worked as the neuro team treatment leader at a physical rehabilitation hospital, handling stroke patients and uh, people with like Gillian Barre, other types of neurological diseases. And the things I learned in reading those medical charts, and then when I came to CRMC as director of social work, I had the opportunity just on med surge, the med surge floor, the critical care unit, and I by no means, I, I, I don't have the medical knowledge that, that I wish I had, but just becoming familiar with the different diagnoses and seeing different patients and over that 12 year period, I do feel like I learned a lot. And of course in college, I, I did have the uh, psychology and abnormal psychology classes on undergraduate and graduate level, so that was very beneficial as well. You know, when you said uh, abnormal, it's, it's, I don't know, and, and I, this is not really on subject, but when you look at entertainment and the sort of games that kids and adults play now, they have a very adult themes, you know. The, there's no such thing as the guy with the white hat being the hero. No. It's, it's the individual who has faults on television or in movies, who's got some sort of weakness, and it, it, I don't know how that all plays into the behavior, the maturity or lack thereof of a young adult. Yes. But that is an issue that I think has an impact. Because to be the word bad is good now, you yes. know, in, in many circles. Yes. And there's so many negative things. Drugs may be one of the centerpiece examples that affect a young person. Yes. And all. Does someone on drugs, can they come under your uh, gavel, so to speak, in terms of dealing with them? Well, Alabama law specifically dictates that an individual who has a primary issue with substance abuse is not to be committed. Substance, substance abuse is considered a lifestyle choice. It's not mental illness. So the short answer is no. Right. You can't be committed for substance abuse treatment. However, something that we are seeing is, particularly with crystal meth, um, use of crystal meth or any drug, particularly prolonged use of drugs, actually changes the brain mat matter. And it can get to the point where, you know, the chicken and the egg, uh, their behaviors, uh, delusions, um, psychoses, all of that type thing that's associated with mental illness, the behavior, the side effects that's associated with mental illness, sometimes comes as a result of prolonged drug abuse. I mean, when, if you remember those old commercials, when it would say, have an egg and say, this is your brain, and then they crack the egg and it would be frying, this is your brain on drugs, the brain matter can actually become fried. And yeah, yeah. Well, those people, do they fall through the cracks or do they wind up in uh, correctional facilities, I guess, right? Uh, yes, if they're still particularly actively using, but sometimes the damage is done and it's just there. Yeah. So it would be, um, we're treating them sometimes in our mental health system. Um, if they're a danger to themselves or others, they do either wind up in jail or sometimes treatment. But that would be the qualifier, I guess, to, to have treatment through your services would be the fact that they are a threat to themselves or to a family member, right? Yes, yes. You have in your infomercial information and you comment on many cases where a child has to be placed under someone else's care because the adults, the parents, are not fit. Yes. What are most of the problems with the parents that that has to happen? The numbers are overwhelmingly negative. I mean, it's, it's such, a, such a sad condition. The majority of the time, I'm, I'm saying nine and a half times out of ten, it is substance abuse that has left the parent unable to parent. And there are more grandparents raising grandchildren than we've ever had in our community before. 
that's a decadent part of our society that's not addressed, I don't think, in, mm -hmm. in, in most circles. And the media is a great example because you don't see that discussed or shown. No. In, the, in those cases, handled by the judge upstairs, though, yes, sir. Are those matters. Yes, sir. Uh, district court. Yeah, district court. They go through the process of district court and, yeah. and termination of parental rights, or sometimes they will just become permanent under the permanent custody of the grandparents, and other times they'll do a termination of parental rights and then come down to probate court for an adoption hearing. We need to take a break. We're going to come back in the second half. We have not thought with Judge Leah Patterson Lust. We'll be back after these things. The most common type of adoption hearing that I have here in Coleman County is a step parent adoption. It's a very happy day when, when I get to sign the papers and make official, make legal what occurred in the heart of that step parent the day he or she became the loving parent. Those important decisions happen each and every day for me as probate judge. The Coleman County Republican Party urges you to vote Republican from the White House to the courthouse November 6th. The Republican candidates include Mitt Romney for President, Roy Moore for Chief Justice of the Alabama Supreme Court, Twinkle Kavanaugh for President of the Alabama Public Service Commission, Lisa Max Swain for Coleman County Circuit Clerk, and Tammy Brown for Coleman County Probate Judge. Remember, vote Republican November 6th. This ad paid for by the Coleman County Republican Party. There's stuff around your house, but we don't make stuff. We make ovens, dual fuel double ovens, and they bake so evenly that now delicious is something you can depend on. We only make things for one room, the best room, your kitchen. We're devoted to it, and you can feel it in everything we make. Nobody knows the kitchen like KitchenAid. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Newton. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Welcome back to Today on 2. It's time to give away our prizes. Let's see what we have for prizes for today. Friday, we have the meal special for two at High Tide Sports Grill. We have two cupcakes from Frosting's Bakery. And we have two tickets to the return of the Boogeyman's Barn at Steel Orchard. And this will be tonight, tomorrow night, and on Halloween night next Wednesday. So those are the prizes we have for today. Let's look at our merchant ads. We'll ask a question, of course, about one of these ads. Starting with Mr. Plumber, Plumbing, Sewer, and Drain Services. This business is locally owned and operated by Adam Burgess. Free estimates are available on new construction. Call Mr. Plumber. Mr. Hicks Menswear has business suits, men's suits, and sport coats, regular, big, and tall sizes. They're the Reader's Choice Award winner for Men's Best Clothing, and right now they have 20% off Pima Cotton. You're in good hands with Sorelli at Doug Dogga Jewelers. Sorelli, of course, is the antique-inspired heirloom jewelry. That's why you shop at Doug Dogger Jewelers on Compass Way in Southwest Colton. The Uniform Place has fabulous fall styles, inspired new looks for styles at work. More complete outfits and flexible styles than ever before are available at the Uniform Place. Tires for Less is more than just tires. They can repair your air conditioning. They do oil changes, minor engine repair. Great service at a good price. Tires for Less on Highway 31 North. The crew at Earl's Body Shop wants to remind you to move over for all emergency vehicles. Earl's Body Shop offers large and small towing. 
local or long distance, Earl's Body Shop is located on Highway 31 or on the web at earlsbodyshop.com. And Tutor Doctor, we make house calls, personalized one-on-one -on -one tutoring, in your home, convenient, flexible hours. Call 256-734-6500. Savor the experience of savings, Yates Chance Christian Bookstore. They have $25 off the new King James Study Bible and cookbooks for everyone. The My Media Burn Bar allows you to copy artist CDs, custom songs, and accompaniment tracks. And you can save as much as 50% on the Hydromaster Tire, new to Coleman, available at People's Tires on Catherine Street. It's a remold tire that looks and wears like new. Debs Bookstore is your hometown bookstore just down the road. Used books are half-priced every day and new books are 20% off every day. Browsers are welcome and gift certificates are available at Debs Bookstore. Those are some of the merchant ads. Our telephone number, 256-734-7399. Which advertiser can help you with lifestyle coaching? For instance, if you're having financial problems, if you've lost a job and need to help finding another job, if you're undecided about where to go to school, lifestyle coaching. Which one of our advertisers can help you with something like that? 256-734-7399 is our telephone number. First person with the correct answer receives the meal special for two at High Tide Sports Grill, two cupcakes from Frosting's Bakery, and two tickets to the Boogeyman's Barn at Steel Orchard. Hello, who's calling? Pat. Hi, Pat. From where are you calling? Coleman. Okay. Who can help you with lifestyle coaching? Doctor. Pardon me? Tutor doctor. tutor doctor. That's a good guess, but not the right answer. Think about it. Call us back. Not the tutor doctor. You can tell us who the person is, or you can tell us the name of the business. Lifestyle coaching. Something a lot of people don't think about. That's true. That if you have financial difficulties, this business can help you out. Mm -hmm. Or if you're dealing with, I'm out of a job. What do I do? We have another caller. Well, if we can get it. There we go, Paige. Hello, who's calling? Janice. All right, Janice, do you have an answer for us? I do. All right. Howard Rogers from Baldwin Counseling. That's correct. Thank you, Janice. Stay on the line, please. Yes, Dr. Howard Rogers at the Baldwin Counseling Center. Let's look at that ad and the rest of our merchant ads right now. And we start with the Wellness and Aquatic Center. That's where Paige hangs out a lot. They have the indoor walking track, indoor pools, the uh, Whirlpool Spa. Day passes are available, but save some money and buy a membership. Sweet deals are available at Dairy Queen. Ask for any four for $5.55. The October Blizzard of the Month is the Pumpkin Pie Blizzard. You can eat in a mudslide for only $1.99. High Tide Sports Grill, and uh, they're going to be celebrating Halloween with a costume contest. They have the band Horizon will be entertaining at High Tide Sports Grill. Hansville Guns and Ammo, where prices are lower on a wide variety of guns, ammo, and reloading supplies. Their shelves are fully stocked there. See Paul or Stephen Harper on the corner across from Hansville City Hall. Open the door to history and fine prints. This is Renard's Gallery and Gifts, an art gallery for viewing and for purchase. Gifts are available and custom framing also at Renard's Gallery and Gifts. Cosmic Sound, with over 26 years of DJ entertainment in, in the DJ entertainment industry, they are your DJ wedding specialists. Call DJ Big D or Wild Bill. It's time for Halloween fun at It's My Party. Costumes are available for rent or for purchase. Balloons and party supplies. Ask about the weekly specials. It's My Party across from Sacred Heart Church. Baldwin Counseling Center having problems, need to talk, or want privacy? Howard Rogers is the person to call. He solves problems one at a time from weight loss, individual, and lifestyle coaching. Mullins Body Shop is on Highway 31 South at Phelan. Auto body repair and towing. You can count on them today. If you need their services, call Mullins Body Shop. And those are the merchant ads we have. Now it's time to check our birthdays for today, tomorrow, and Sunday. That's right. On this Friday, Ruth Schultz celebrates a birthday and Daniel Allison. Saturday, Natalie Freeman celebrates a birthday. And on Sunday, Jared Eubanks and Ann Wilbanks celebrate a birthday. Now it's time to draw for our 8x10 portrait from Baker Photography and our ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. Okay, our weekly winner is Christopher Shoemaker. Christopher's birthday was earlier this week. 
and he wins the prizes that Paige was just talking about. That's right. And we have some anniversaries. On this Friday, Horace and Bobby Fortner celebrated our, uh, an anniversary, and Saturday, Chuck and Becky Bailey. And there's our weekly anniversaries. Okay, our, <coughs> excuse me, our anniversary winner is the Fortners. And they will win a $15 certificate. $15 gift certificate from the Candle Garden. Let's check the weather forecast. <clears throat> Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. Make the switch to Mitch. We'll have a slight chance of rain later on today with a high of 79. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cloudy tonight, low of 48. Tomorrow, noticeably cooler with a high of 57. When you first walk into that new home, it took a lot to get there, but Eva Bank made it easy to get the loan you needed. Eva Bank, as a part of the community, makes lending decisions right here where you live. Our lenders make the process quick and easy with rates you'll love. Visit your neighbors at Eva Bank today and let them help you with your new home loan, manufactured home, refinance, or remodel. Eva Bank, part of the community we call home. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color to see it, to feel it. To be in it, to be upon it, and to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. Premier Bank is asking for your vote. We want to be your bank. Our platform is simple service that no other bank can offer. We're locally owned and operated and that means we make decisions right here. So vote today for Mom, Apple Pie, and Premier Bank. I'm Jay Mullins and I approve this message. I designated myself and one cell phone number. The cell phone number that, that I have is the one contact number that is available for the Sheriff's Department, the Police Department, Coleman Regional Medical Center, and any individual that is in need of contact with the probate office for psychiatric commitments after hours on holidays and weekends. The Coleman County Republican Party urges you to vote Republican from the White House to the Courthouse, November 6th. The Republican candidates include Mitt Romney for President, Roy Moore for Chief Justice of the Alabama Supreme Court, Twinkle Kavanaugh for President of the Alabama Public Service Commission, Lisa Maxwain for Coleman County Circuit Clerk, and Tammy Brown for Coleman County Probate Judge. Remember, vote Republican November 6th. This ad paid for by the Coleman County Republican Party. And welcome back to That's Politics. Our guest this week, uh, probably Judge Leah Patterson Lust. Leah, this, there are very few races, right? I mean, in Alabama, uh, and especially in Coleman County, the probate judge is one of the most, if you're looking by the number of comments on the Internet, and social websites and such, is the most contentious. The issue of your opponent uh, has been raised as to her being involved in a state, was it a state settlement or a guardianship or conservatorship? She was actually named trustee. A trustee. And the claims that she took money. What are your comments on that? Because it's, it's the elephant in the room that, and I don't like elephants in the room, I like being able to deal with issues, especially if they're involved in politics. Um, yes, there is a, there is a case and there is documentation in, that is public record in probate court that makes reference to money that was inappropriately removed from a trust by her. Um, it's always an unfortunate situation when something such as that happens. And in that particular case, um, in that particular case, it went through, a police report was completed and it went through circuit court and there was an agreement reached and the individual that the money was, was taken from is a uh, elderly incapacitated person in the nursing home and that money was returned to that incapacitated individual's trust fund. 
by my opponent. We were going, we have asked Tammy Brown uh, to join us this morning. We were hoping to have a forum, and she has declined, but I was going to ask her her response. Uh, but I just want to make sure we deal with this issue before we finish our, our conversation here because, it's, again, it's the most notable, noticeable thing in this campaign for probate judge. Uh, question. Regarding voting, can someone vote straight ticket, Republican or Democrat, and still go down and mark another position? Absolutely. Absolutely. Alabama law allows for an individual, any, ind any individual, any qualified voter, if, say, for example, they want to vote a straight Republican ticket, if they're interested in all the Republican candidates on a national level, it is permissible to vote a straight Republican ticket and then just to drop down the ballot and since my race is the only one that is a local race in Coleman, they can mark complete the arrow for my name and that will cast a Republican vote in every race and then in the probate judge's race they will be able to vote for me. Okay. So yes, that, that is... Has it always been that way? Uh, for as long as I've been in office, uh, Judge Burleson it, I guess it would be more appropriate to ask you, was that the case when you were in office? Not all the time. Not all the time. It was later when we got the machines, you know. Mm -hmm. See, we didn't have the machines back in. When I first got into office, they was counting them. They was sitting at the table of counting them, you know. And it took all night. Yeah. Well, that, that brings up another issue, Leah, regarding uh, the uh, polls. What races do we have open in Coleman County, basically probate judge, and uh, are there some uh, are there some city council, or that was all municipal elections? That was all municipal elections. Uh, the only race where there is opposition is the Coleman County judge of probate race. Uh, we did have a candidate for circuit clerk. Jerry Mack Waters was a Democrat running against Lisa Parker McSwain. However, due to health reasons, Jerry Mack Waters had to uh, withdraw his name from consideration. So on the ballot, when when folks go to the polls and get the ballot, they will have on every race, every local race, the uh, or statewide race, U.S. United States Representative, 4th Congressional District, there are two candidates. Chief Justice, there are two candidates. Um, even the Associate Justice, Supreme Court, place one, there's only one candidate. There, uh, will be a public service commission. There is opposition in that. That would be Lucy Baxley and Twinkle Andrus. But primarily for every race there is one candidate and under that one candidate's name there is also the opportunity for write-in candidates. You yeah, have one ballot, right? Yes, sir. One ballot for the um, for the entire county yeah. with the exception of the different congressional districts. Yeah. And there are some school board races. There's no opposition in those school board races, but um, individual, you know, there's district number five, district number three, and district number one. Those are the school board races this time, but there, are, there is no opposition, so it's just the one candidate's name and then the opportunity for a write-in vote. A write-in. Does this mean with fewer, with just one ballot, and one local race, does that mean that results will be coming quicker or would it take about the same time usually? Um, it would be thought that they would come in a little quicker, but write-in votes have to be hand counted. So time-wise, it, it shouldn't take as long to print the tapes off the election machine, but we still have to count the write-in votes by hand. Uh, Alabama law was changed. When Judge Burleson was in office, you had to count every write-in vote. But now, if it's not a real person, anybody that writes down Snoopy or Scooby-Doo or anyone that, that actually cannot serve, those votes do not have to be counted. So if, if voters are thinking of doing something silly like that to be funny, um, it's not funny. And it, it does take more time for the polls to be closed. Those votes are not counted, but any human being. So whenever somebody writes down Nick Saban, we actually have to keep up with how many votes Nick Saban gets because Nick Saban is a real human, and, and he actually could be elected. 
So it probably wouldn't be a successful write-in campaign. I doubt uh, Coach Saban would want to take the pay cut. Probably not. Uh, now, does this mean he this wouldn't get any Auburn votes? No, he wouldn't get any Auburn votes. No. <laughs> Let me ask you this: for those people who wrote in, let's say Nick Saban, okay, will their ballots will they be counted on these other races, and then it just tells you that they've got a write-in down at the bottom? Yes, actually, the the voting machines, as Judge Barson was saying, you know, before people wrote their ballots and they marked it on a wall, as I understand it, the. Um, Courthouse. Yeah. When the results came back that to the is. courthouse. They marked them on the wall and, and kept up with them that way. Yeah. But our voting machines are so sophisticated. <clears throat> you can put them in face up, face down, the the top end or the back end. It, it doesn't matter which way you put it. But if someone has handwritten something on the ballot, it falls into a different compartment. There are two compartments. Those ballots having no write-in votes fall into to one compartment, and the ones that have anything written on them fall into the second. And when the poll workers open the polling machine at the end of the night after they've printed off their tape of all the counted ballots, when they open the machine to get the ballots out, all those in the one compartment with no write-ins, they stack those up and they put those in one box. The ones with the write-in votes are stacked up, and then the poll workers sit at a table and go through each ballot and have an accounting sheet making making lists and marks for everyone that has been written in. We're running out of time. Tell us why people should vote for Leah Patterson Lust. During my time in office, I have been blessed to serve the people of Coleman County. I have cut spending. I have increased service. I've done more with less. That is the definition of conservative. I have taken care of Coleman County's money the same way I take care of my own funds at home. It means that much to me. I have streamlined the adoption process. I have made it more convenient and more family friendly because children in Coleman County deserve permanency. They deserve to be treated in the best manner possible. God creates families in many different ways and adoption is a forever family and I've been blessed to be part of that. It's my desire to continue serving the people of Coleman County. It's been the biggest honor of my life to serve Coleman County through the probate judge's office. And I humbly ask for the vote and support of all the citizens of Coleman County. Thank you. Thank you for coming to see us today. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Good job. Good job. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. We have a, you know, have, okay, we don't have the name yet, but we'll talk about it next week. Again, thank you and gentlemen. And for today on two, that's politics. Come on. Fire, accident, storm, they all happen in Coleman County. And for three generations, Night Free Insurance has been there for you. Continuing today with Elliot and Westcott Free, customizing your life, home, auto, and business insurance with auto owners. Call Westcott, Elliot, Judy, Tina, Angie or Karen, Night Free Insurance, where people are the difference. The Coleman County Republican Party urges you to vote Republican from the White House to the Courthouse, November 6th. The Republican candidates include Mitt Romney for President, Roy Moore for Chief Justice of the Alabama Supreme Court, Twinkle Kavanaugh for President of the Alabama Public Service Commission, Lisa Max Swain for Coleman County Circuit Clerk, and Tammy Brown for Coleman County Probate Judge. Remember, vote Republican November 6th. This ad paid for by the Coleman County Republican Party. If you're looking for the ride of your life, you'll find it at Billy Ray Taylor Auto Sales in Coleman. I'm talking about sharp cars and trucks that'll get you noticed and deals too low to believe. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it and find it for less at Billy Ray Taylor Auto Sales. Come on, North Alabama. It's time you had a sharp set of wheels and a really good deal. Billy Ray Taylor Auto Sales, turning you from two big lots, Highway 31 North and 31 South in Coleman, Alabama. In the nation, we can't make every annoying thing disappear. But we can eliminate deductibles. Nationwide insurance members who add vanishing deductible get $100 off for every year of safe driving. Join the nation where deductibles go.
Nationwide is on your side Community Bill Boards are brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. The Women's Annual Fall Bazaar will be Saturday, October the 27th from 7 to 1 at the Welty Cumberland Presbyterian Church Fellowship Hall, proceeds to benefit their missions and projects. The Monster Dash 5K and Monster Mile will be Saturday, October the 27th at the Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center. The Monster Mile begins at 8 a.m. and the Monster Dash at 8.30. Pilot Club Rummage Sale will be at the Coleman Fairgrounds Exhibit Hall on Friday, October 26th from 7 to 4 and Saturday, October 27th from 7 to 2. Proceeds go to support the Pilot Club of Coleman. Steel Orchard presents the return of the Boogie Man's Barn. This will be this uh, Friday and Saturday and of course on Halloween night you can give them a call for more information. And the Mount Olive Church Christmas Bazaar will be Saturday, November the 3rd from 8 to 3 at the Fairview Town Hall. There will be homemade arts and crafts, pies and more. The Holly Pond Centennial 5K race will be at Lions Club Park in Holly Pond on Saturday, November the 3rd at 8 a.m. Registration is $15 and that includes a t-shirt. Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, this is Wallace State Theater, they'll present a musical comedy that tells the biblical story of Joseph. This will be November 1st and 2nd at 7 p.m. and November 3rd and 4th at 2 p.m. $10 for adults and $5 for students and children. The First Methodist Holiday Bazaar will be Thursday, November 8th from 7 to 4. Breakfast will be served from 7 to 9 and lunch served from 11 to 1. Garden City Elementary School Fall Carnival will be tonight from 3.30 until there's a live auction that begins at 6.30 and there's game, food, fun, and more. Community billboards are brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. If your organization would like to send us a billboard, you can do that. Send it to channel 2 Coleman at gmail.com, fax it to 256-734-7680, or friend us on Facebook, Channel 2 Coleman. And the weather forecast, enjoy it while you can today. A high of 79, cloudy tonight, low of 48. Tomorrow, noticeably cooler, with a high near 57. Coming up next week, who do we have as a guest on Monday? On Monday, we have Ramona Calhoun coming to see us. She is going to talk about the Holly Pond Centennial 5K run and how you can register for that. And also, Wade Harbison will be here, and he's from Coleman Park and Recreation, so we're going to talk to him a little bit. That's what we have lined up for Monday. Thank you for watching today on 2. Have a great weekend.